Hello, my name is Harold, this is Tech on Tech, and today we are going to install Minecraft in Windows 10. Now you'd think this would be the simplest process in the world, but I get so many complaints about how Minecraft just will not work, will not install it. By default, it installs through the Windows Store, which has a ton of problems and it doesn't work very well. In fact, my biggest video is installing Minecraft on Windows 11, so I'm creating a Windows 10 version of that. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, the first thing we're going to need is a copy of the Minecraft download, but we're not actually going to buy, we're not going to download the normal install of Minecraft. We're actually going to use what's called the Legacy Launcher because, as I said, the original one is always broken and never works. So let's go ahead and do a search for Minecraft download. Let's go ahead and drop on the main site. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to bypass the download launcher for Windows 10 and 11. This is one that's ha that has so many problems. In fact, I'm going to recommend you doing it this other way until they remove it. Because this just does not work. Anyhow, let's go ahead and go to the other one. We're going to download the Windows Legacy Launcher. Give that just a second to download. Then... Now, if you have trouble finding it, it generally downloads to your downloads folder. Um, we'll just go ahead and we'll launch it right off the bat. Uh, this legacy launcher uh, just works fantastically. I've never had any problems with it. If you come from another installation video or you're having problems, I can't tell you how many people have been thankful that they found this method. Anyhow, let's go ahead and click next. We'll click next again and we'll start the install. Actually, I just occurred to me I'm going to need a username and a password. We'll click yes on this. So I'm going to wait just a second to click finish. All right, I actually had to pause this for a second so I could get something prepped. All right, now this assumes that you have already purchased Minecraft and tied it to an email account. I actually do have a video. This assumes you already have the username and password to log into Minecraft or what's your email address because they use the email address for this stuff. In fact, I needed to get all that prepped out beforehand. Looks like we've got a couple of update files, so I'm going to pause this on my end until this part finishes. If you've gotten this far, awesome. I will check back in here in just a second once these files are done and once we're ready to start logging in to the email and password. All right, it looks like it just finished downloading all the updates and stuff like that. So we are up to the login screen. I'm going to go ahead and click Microsoft Login. Now I'm going to go ahead and enter in my email address. Uh, this assumes that you have already purchased this. Yeah, I've said that a few times. So give me a second. I have to check and see what this email address is. Yeah, DSP at gmail.com there's a one in 20 chance that this will not work when i try to do this but this should work well i mean for other reasons not because this install method doesn't work information was compromised hmm. anyway there we go okay so that was the correct now if it's the correct username and password it will absolutely let you log in finally, and it finally let me log in. So I'm going to go ahead and click Let's Go. This we don't have to click again. We're just going to give it a second for the next window to open. It's just loading in the background. And there it goes. All right, so we used the alternate method to install Minecraft, and then with a little bit of trouble, because I had a little bit of trouble, I logged in using the email address and password. I'm going to go ahead and let's just jump right into clicking play. Uh, once again, so many people have had problems with this that I figured I'd create a quick video on how to do it. In fact, my Windows 11 version of this exact same video has over 300,000 views. The uh, Microsoft Store installation of this is just so broken and has so many problems that it just... Yeah. Anyhow, we've got the Java installed. Let's go ahead and launch a world and see if it works. I'm going to blow this up a little bit here. And give it a second to load the world. 
guys, I hope this was super useful for you. I hope this helped you out, and I hope that uh, that gets you going on your road to playing Minecraft. Uh, my name is Harold. Once again, this is Tech on Tech. That's it for the day. Subscribe to our channel. We do live streams where we help people like troubleshoot their problems. I'll include an email address in the comments. If maybe you want to email me about your problem, I might be able to do a fix as part of a live stream or maybe try to help you out. Guys, have a great rest of the day and we'll see you next time. Thank you.